Hello and welcome back to Smart ER. Today we're going to look at the surface area at the front of your Smart 453, whether it's a Smart for 4 or a Smart for 2. First, unlock the retaining clips and slide the bonnet forward. So the bonnet is held in place by two retaining straps. So we're going to remove those just so you can have a look. But the main reason I wanted to, to show you this is just how to get access to the battery because it's different from the previous range. So here's the retaining straps held in by Torx bolts. There's only two, and uh, I think they're Torx 18s, but I'll put the correct, uh, the correct size in the description box. But just giving you a, a bird's eye view of just how little room there is in that area. So I'll start with this one, this one first. Uh, they're really easy. There's nothing complicated with this at all. It's just two retaining straps, so two bolts and you need to unplug and disconnect the washer tube to the windscreen washer on the bonnet themselves and it really is if it was a, a one to five one being easy a one being easy and five being difficult it really is a one in terms of diy capabilities so just undo the first one you will need to be mindful that uh, keep hold of that bonnet because there's going to be nothing retaining. It's not like the original 451 where there were two retaining points where you could actually stand it on the front of the car and you didn't have to drop it. So I do miss that function. I think they missed a, missed a trick there. So it won't take long now just to take this, uh, this second retaining strap off. There you go. And then pop. There goes the washer fluid tube. I'll slightly adjust the camera angle so you can see me just how easy it is to pull the, the rubber tube from the union, the elbow joint. It really just pull, that's all, just pull. So there's the, uh, the service area with the hood off, or the bonnet off, as we say in the UK. Uh, a lot more access, a lot more easy to get to. So there's the infamous battery, so in a totally different place from the 451s. Give you a quite uh, quick run through. Here's the brake reservoir. Here's the windscreen washer reservoir. This is the engine coolant reservoir, and then obviously the battery. I will give you a close up of the bulbs or the lamp situation. So you've got the daytime running lights, you've got the main beam, and then you've got the side lights down the bottom. I'll do those one day. So all that remains now is to pop the hood back on. So I'm not going to do the bolting back on the bolts bit. You slide it in at an angle. There's a little bit of a knack to it. I'll show you here from a different angle. Literally just tip it up so the pointy bits towards the front just tip down a little until they locate. Gently lower it down and then slightly push forward. And then you need to refix the locking tabs. Cup of tea time. 